Ciao belli, welcome and thanks for joining me in this video today. It's one of those vlogs where I watch the videos you submitted to me and I try to give you some constructive feedback. This is episode 3, if you haven't seen the previous one go and watch them in the description tab down here. First of all, thank you guys, of course, to submitting the videos. Today I tried to cover more videos, seven videos, so seven vloggers, but also I'll give less feedback each. So I tried to give two or three comments each. Big thing, big thing, I just launched an Adobe Premiere Pro video editing course for beginners on Udemy. Udemy is an e-learning website where if you have a special skill, you can create a course and sell it on the website. So if you guys want to enhance your video editing skills, go and check my Premiere Pro course out. It's is a 14 hours course it took me four months to build it's 117 lectures and we will cover the whole video editing process so at the end of the course you will really be able to work on a video project from start to end on your own there's a lot of exercises so you can practice different uh, editing styles a lot of footage provided and if you want to have a look at it do it now because the price is the launch price of 19.99 british pound and the normal cost will be 99.99 pound so go and check it out now link in the description of course now let's start with the videos and i've got the first vlogger adam kim so adam kim is a youtube channel is cora sean tv so go and check him out and subscribe and let's have a look at this video and i go straight to the comments so if you guys want to follow as well you can just follow me along with the time codes and we're gonna cover this vlog right now adam the first comment for you was from the title or the description of your video i had no idea what the video was about uh, and i tried to figure it out in the first few seconds and I couldn't do it so I realized after that it was about a restaurant or a hotel and if that's the case you need to include these words in the title or in the description otherwise your audience is lost and they don't know really what they're watching so that's the very first comment I had for you if you go in your description of the video there's not any reference about restaurant or hotel let's play and see what you've got Okay, uh, 044, this is something I mentioned before to many vloggers, do not walk around with your camera. So if you want to film something, take different shots, even, even standing, just different angles of the rooms or the food or whatever, but don't do the walk through. It's really, it could be really boring and um, it takes a lot of time in your video. But if you take different shots, like shorter shots, maybe of the, the flowers and then you go behind and you take the restaurants, like a wide angle of the restaurants, that works much better. Think about a film. A film is made of different shots. It's not made of a single shot walking around usually. So keep that in mind. I mean, some films are, but um, the story is, uh, is uh, very engaging. So in this case, I would recommend to break the video down into many shots instead of walking around. Point two. Then let's keep, I'm scrolling through. Okay, so the third point is related to point one, no information, not enough information. So I'm not really sure what you want to show me with this video. Maybe you could have given me more information about the place, about the cost of the food with some title boards. But again, I just scrolled through and this video is five minutes of uh, you walking around and taking videos of, of the stuff you see. But um, 
I don't really get anything from it. So I don't experience the place. It would have been nice if you were more informative. Uh, that's my point three for you. But thank you for submitting your video. Let's go to person number two, actually the couple hack and jam and go and subscribe of course trap in paradise this is a vlog from thailand okay guys my point for you were at 4 30 around 4 30 here i would recommend to choose a brighter place so if you're vlogging i know sometimes we get lazy or we don't really think about the environment and the light conditions but we need to think about it if we want to improve our quality of the videos here it was probably nighttime i can't tell but it was really dark so i would go in a brighter place or wait for the next day and do it outside with a better light condition point one for you guys and the second one was around 1842 when you are talking here. Dance everywhere and bars. Little stalls yeah. selling cocktails. That's for the people. The second point here, guys, is when we vlog, we want to look at the camera because uh, otherwise the audience is not feeling engaged. For example, if I was talking to you now and instead of looking at the camera, I just look outside or look at the sky and keep talking, you know, I don't think you would feel engaged. So that's the point here. You. First of all, the angle of the camera, you're pointing to the sky. I'm not really seeing the environment. I'm not seeing your face properly. I'm seeing your nose. It's a weird angle as well. But most importantly, I'm not engaging with you because you're not talking to me. So if you're not talking to me because you're not interested, I'm not interested in your video. Not in a bad way, but that's how I feel watching this particular part of the vlog. The last point for you guys was about the end. So around minutes 20, 21, uh, which is the end of the video. First of all, it's quite long. It's it's around four minutes of you guys being on a beach and I felt it a bit random and also it doesn't give me a closure. So there's not a final message. And don't forget that the end of a video is as important as the beginning. So the very first shots and the very last shots of a film or a video are fundamental to tell the story and to keep the audience engaged. But here you guys are just chilling on the beach with some music. And you're just showing me the beach for two minutes and again I'm not I'm not engaged. And this shot is very long. It, it's just two minutes of showing me the, the boats. There's not even a nice sunset to look at. So yeah, I think it could have been much shorter to be honest with a message to camera saying, thank you for watching guys. Stay tuned because tomorrow will be a new adventure, blah, 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 something like that. But thank you again, very nice location. Uh, let's go to the next person. I've got Ivy Ish or Aish, I'm not sure. And uh, let's go here. Guys, go and subscribe to Ivy and let's play one second. Right, from your video, Ivy, uh, it's really informative, so thumb up, that's really good. But I'm gonna go in Premiere Pro for you because I want to talk about your frame rate. So this is your video and your frame rate is uh, 60 frames per second, actually 59.94. And I wanna talk about the frame rate. The frame rate is basically how many frames you are recording per second. So you are recording at 60 frames per second, which I don't think you need. So I recommend to film at 25, 24 or 30 FPS. Usually we use 50 or 60 when we want to do some slow motion and uh, you don't show any slow motion in your video. So, so I mentioned this because you could save a lot of storage in your, in your uh, phone if you're recording on your phone. Don't forget that the higher the frame rate you're recording at, also the bigger size of your file will be. And once again, you don't use the slow motion in your video, so there's no point of filming at 60 frames per second. And that's something you can choose probably in the settings of, of your phone. For instance, you could film 60 frames per second during any sports filming 
or something that's really fast, if you have a fast action, that's when you want to use some slow motion. But in your case, you don't need to do so. So you can save a lot of storage in your memory card. Point one, as I'm in Premiere, I keep going in Premiere and uh, we go to around minute one. This is really overexposed. So the sky here is overexposed and uh, I would suggest to make sure to go in the settings again. And if you are in auto, make sure you click in the brightest part of your image so everything else will adapt but the image will not be overexposed. That was my second comment. So scrolling through your video, I actually watched it all and there's a lot of images of you guys in the car and also filming the landscape through the window and that's something I really recommend not to do. Instead I would recommend to stop the car you know a few times just get out of the car take a few shots steady shots and then leave. I never feel engaged again when someone is showing me things through cars, airplanes, windows, these kind of shots Mm -mm. Also because it doesn't let me enjoy the landscapes as you shoot. It's just a very quick shot from the car's window, seeing trees and nature going fast and uh, it's not working very well. So these were my three comments for you. I hope it's gonna help. And then we go to Christ's class. So YouTube channel, let's go on YouTube channel, travel north and let's subscribe, daily KK vlog. And thank you for submitting the video. Okay, let's start from the title for you, Chris. There's, I thought it was a bit of a mess, so I'm not really sure, once again, what, what you're gonna show me in the video. So it's traveling north during the lockdown in a 4K vlog with the GoPro must visit. So travel north where? Is he England? Is he America? Is he North Pole? I don't know. Okay, it's during the lockdown, it's a 4K video, must visit why and GoPro why <laughs> again. So there's a lot of stuff there, but it doesn't really tell me anything. So I would have chosen one subject and work for the title on that specific subject. So if it was a vlog about the GoPro, then I would, I would focus on the GoPro. If it was about traveling north, in that specific country then I would include the name of the country and just focusing about the traveling so I think you need to make a decision and uh, be more descriptive on that specific subject in your title uh, okay that was the first comment second comment Um, the first two minutes of the video are just clips, so a montage of clips, but again I'm not understanding what the video is about. It's just a, like a daily vlog of you waking up, having a coffee, cycling, and then getting to your van, to the car. And then you start talking. But also when you start talking... So I'm nearly halfway there. So at 2.07 you actually start talking to the audience and you say we are halfway there and there where? Again, I don't have any information of the location where you're going and why. So I don't know what's going on in your video to be honest so far. And uh, don't get any offense but that's how, again, that's how I feel. Not enough information. And also it's funny here. Uh, there's about 70 miles left to drive. Uh, but I'm getting excited in the Lincoln here. Everything is flat and uh, it's nothing to see really. <laughs> okay, you're saying that everything is flat, so the fields are flat and there is nothing to see. And that's something I would avoid saying to your audience. Because if there, there's nothing to see, why shall I watch your video and why are you showing me those fields where there is nothing to see? So, <laughs> right there. I would move on and skip your video, to be honest. So yes, that were my three points for you, but keep up the good work and uh, uh, thanks for submitting the video. Next is Noma Kuma. So we've got this vlog from Zadar, Croatian town. 
And for you, I have okay these uh, comments here. If we go to zero thirty-eight. Okay, the first one, the light is good, but the framing could be better. And in terms of framing, I mean a bit of directing skills. So there's a lot of air above your head. And if you will ever film an interview, or if you just look on Google, interview shots, interview shot, have a look at the shots here, and really you will understand what I mean. If you scroll through all these images, you will see there's only a bit of space between the top of the frame and, and the head of the interviewee. And that's how it works in terms of uh, close-ups usually for these kind of shots. So you don't want to keep too much air above your head basically. That's a very specific effect actually in Hollywood or in all the filmmaking. Where you leave a lot of air between the head and the top of the frame, you make the audience expecting something from falling uh, from the sky. So it's a specific kind of shot just for that purpose. So make sure you just tilt the camera down a little bit and leave less air above your head. If we go to 229, okay, here the same thing about the, the air and the spacing. If you actually see here above me now, there's just a tiny bit of space. Um, but actually in this shot it was more about the lighting. There's a lot of brightness in the background, so I'm actually focused on the background rather than uh, the guy uh, here. I would have chosen a different place, to be honest, for this kind of interview, because you actually had time. It seems like you had time to sit down and talk to the camera. So I would have gone in the sun and just do something in the sun instead. So point number two. Okay, here at 514, that's much better in terms of air. But here again at 441, definitely too much on top. Uh, point number three, I would actually suggest to shoot more b-roll, so more footage to cover all the talking here during your interviews. But rather than that, good stuff. Yeah, I'm subscribed to your channel. And then we have, we have Paulina Art Travels, and I'm gonna subscribe there. So guys, go and subscribe to everyone. Why not? Let's support the community. And um, I'm gonna leave you a comment right there. Nice. Okay, Paulina, for you. Oh yes, I'm gonna go in uh, Premiere Pro actually. Because uh, if we go for example at 2 minutes or 06, these transitions here. I think you really have a lot of these kind of transitions and they can become annoying after a while. So I would tone down the amount of transitions for sure and also maybe the sound of the transition can be uh, lower down a little bit. But it's actually good that you put the sound effects, that's something not everyone does, so thumb up for that. Okay, then the point number two for me was from 1.52 to five minutes more or less, it's just a montage of clips, and that's definitely too long without any information to me. Also, some of the clips are very long. And again, too much walking around and quick movements. I would just keep the camera steady and show me a few seconds of that landscape, then move around, take another few seconds of a different angle and so on. And here at 4.23 you're changing the music but the images are still the same and that's something I would avoid. So whenever you change the music also change the, the images or just pause it and talk to the audience a little bit to then change the music and change the montage. So you want to have a break between the two tracks. Uh, in this way it doesn't really work very well. Also because the music is actually changing during the same video clip and it feels a bit weird. Also in terms of music, guys, don't forget it's again key for the video making and uh, we don't want to be lazy with the soundtrack so we don't want to choose a track, put it in your video and just keep for the whole duration of the track. So what I would suggest is to work more with the music, with the 
choice of the tracks first of all with the montages and with the moods and the vibes of the video in general but thank you once again to, for submitting your video and we got to the last vlogger Tori Tornate um, I hope that's how you pronounce it and I'm gonna stay here actually in uh, Premiere Pro actually let's go and subscribe if I'm not yes I'm subscribed so guys go and check him out uh, Lao Tang and uh, you dude you are uh, very good with information so you give me a lot of uh, stuff to know where you are and what you're doing during the day so that's great a couple of things for you where the sound effects again really good because not everyone is using sound effects but I recommend to do so but you definitely need to work on the audio levels of your video and I want to show you a few things here in Premiere Pro because the audio waves really help to to see visually the audio what's happening with the audio and also don't forget the audio mixing is fundamental for videos I mean we need to blend all these skills together to really enhance the quality of the videos so audio mix the, the choice of the music the color grading everything together will build the video in a complete different way and it will take it to the next level and once again guys all this stuff is covered in my Adobe Premiere Pro video editing course so if you can I would really recommend to have a look at it but let's go back to your audio levels and I want to show you some stuff here <laughs> So if you look at this, this is called audio meter, but you can also see it in the actual audio track mixer. I don't know if you use Premiere or any other video editing software, but you can probably see a mixer in your uh, software anyway. But if you look at here, if you look at the audio meter and in the mixer, you have these red uh, lines. When we touch the, the red lines, it means we are distorting the sound because your audio levels are too high and we never want to go there basically so the audio is measured in decibels and the maximum decibels is zero so we never want to go above zero but have a look at your video as I'm playing you're always hitting the red and I can see, and I can actually hear some clipping of your sound so if you if you really listen to it sometimes the audio will go tick, 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 because you are cutting the frequencies of your waves so probably you boosted the audio too much and you want to keep it lower so always keep an eye on the audio meter and make sure you never touch the red above you never go above uh, zero decibel you actually have some safety nets um, to avoid this problem and again it's covered in my course if you want to have a look let's have a look at the soundtracks that's the other point I mean just look at the waves here uh, let's just do this if you actually go in the waves you can literally see you are cutting out the the highest part of the waves can you can you hear that So all this sound is distorted and uh, I'll show you in the meters again in the in the volume here it's all just uh, really boosted it, it's too much so your audio is really too loud it's just too loud you need to bring everything down and be quieter the other point for you was the choice of the music which is fine for the first section of the video but you actually used it throughout nine actually ten minutes of video and that's really annoying after after a few minutes actually it just gets annoying so once again work on the music change the vibes you know change the montage of your video it's much more engaging and that's all for your video 
Guys, thank you once again for submitting the videos. I don't want to be offensive or anything. I'm just being blunt and I really hope the feedback can help you to improve your videos. If you're watching this vlog and you're not part of our Travel Vlogs group on Facebook, go and check it out in the description tab and also go and check my clothing brand with you clothing. Keep sending your videos through. They don't have to be travel vlogs, any kind of videos I'll be happy to watch and review. Consider to subscribe and to share my videos if you think they can be helpful to your friends or other creatives out there. I thank you for watching. God bless you. I'll see you in the next one. Seems all good times come and go your way. Child memories fall up the road.